Neil, I'll start, as I'd imagine most interviews have started today, and ask you why you wanted to get involved in the Balls to Stop Smoking campaign, because everybody's reasons, I think, are ever so slightly different. Yeah, I was invited um, to see if I wanted to join the campaign, and um, obviously as an ex-sportsman um, and a coach now, and in, in an elite environment, you know, smoking is a real no-no. Um, and the reason it is, is because if you want to be the best you can possibly be, you need to look after your lifestyle, your nutrition, the way you act and behave, and smoking is detrimental to performance. So if you want to be the best, we would encourage you not to smoke, and we try and help people to, to quit. And of course, this is what this campaign is all about. It's a difficult habit to quit. Many people struggle. Today, you've had a chance to speak to many of the Stop Smoking Services ambassadors. How much more of a clearer picture do you have of the work that they actually do and the help that is on offer to people within Leicestershire? Well, I think they're providing a, a brilliant service. Now, through the website, there is clear direction of who you need to speak to and what they'll do to help you stop smoking so the first port of call is to go online look at the website and then have the the balls to follow it through in terms of um, the stop smoking service I think a lot of the ambassadors that we've spoken to have got personal um, experiences of smoking whether it's direct or indirect you've already mentioned that there was the slight peer pressure if you will to smoke at a young age has it been something that you've been subject to during the course of your life in terms of smoking whether it's yourself or somebody else well, I think during my professional rugby career, um, pre in the amateur era, there was a, quite a lot of smokers. But you know, post the '95 World Cup, when the game turned professional in '96, then we saw less people smoking because sports science come in, good nutrition, good behaviours, and if you wanted to be the best, then smoking wasn't a part of that. There were still smokers, um, but. You know, I often wonder how good or better they could have been if they had never smoked. Now that the campaign is fully up and running, the Stop Smoking service will surely be in a lot of people's faces, hopefully. The message is quite clear. If you want to make that lifestyle change, develop into the best that you possibly can be, visit the website, get in touch with the service, they can help. Well, absolutely. It's not, not just sport, um, but it's in your workplace, you know, your, your health. If you want to be able to perform your best you can in your workplace, then you know if you if you can stop smoking, it will definitely help you to perform better. Oops.